Hi, this is Paul from paulbrockby.com and this is another analysis video, but this time we're looking at a gold company, Incaf, Inca One Gold Corporation from Peru. A slightly different type of gold miner in that they don't actually dig any gold out of the ground. Uh, all of the artisanal miners in Peru actually dig it out. They take it to Inca and they then uh, get the gold uh, out of that. So it's a little bit different. They, um, they haven't got those expenses of exploration, um, drilling and all that sort of thing. They literally just get handed uh, the dirt with the gold in uh, and they turn it into um, gold that can be sold to, I think it's the European uh, gold uh, refineries. So um, still very little risk uh, on that exploration, which is a, a lot of junior gold miners do do fail uh, because they raise all this capital and, and they don't actually generate any revenue and spend everything on that exploration. These guys haven't got that. Um, so let's have a look at this technical analysis. Uh, we, we listed, uh, you know, around about 2013-2014, we had a nice uh, nice move up here and then um, just like the recent stock we've been looking at, um, this move down and the FIB extension which goes from the uh, IPO to the high and then back down again is about a FIB 1.1618 which is pretty spectacular. We have now been in a range really with um, with a low forming in 2020 before the move up um, since 2017 so it's been at these lows it found good support but recently with the move up in uh, gold in 2020 uh, this um, produced some uh, some good moves on this stock and I wanted to go through them on a daily time frame because on a weekly you can't really see it. There's some things I want to point out on the daily time frame. And then we'll look at those co important correlations as well. Okay, so this is the daily time frame. One thing I want to note straight away is that you look at the volume. We can see the volumes next to non-existent. We've got all these dots and gaps on these candles here. And, this, and you can see the volume chart at the bottom is absolutely, there's just very, very minimal volume. But once we get into 2020, people see value. Institutional traders, retail traders and investors, uh, they see value in this because the volume really, just move this up a little bit, that volume really does start to spike up a little bit. And you can see that by the price action in these candles. It, you know, the, there's, there's very little gaps here. This is moving up and down. There's a, a few gaps as the volume drops down here. But compared to the previous years, the volume, the amount of people wanting to trade and invest in this is a lot larger. And this, this is what interests me in that we had the spike in the gold price to go to $2,000 in 2020. This is what started the real interest in this because it's at good value uh, and there's very little risk, uh, financial risk to this company uh, because they're just getting the gold from all these artisanal miners. Um, we then move up to test here uh, the resistance zone that I put in around about 60 cents. We come back down, but this time we find a higher support zone. Then we get a lot of more volume coming in. It pushes up slightly higher. That forms the top of our zone around about 67 cents. So we've got a seven cents uh, resistance zone there. Then it comes back down. We have a massive gap down here. High volume rejects that and comes back up again. We've drifted down again, but we've rejected that low again. So we formed a triple bottom, if you like, with this higher support zone which is really, really encouraging. And there's a, there's a lot of analysis saying that, you know, 2021 could be similar to 2020, but gold prices could go to 2,500. Um, so again, value will be seen. Once start, gold starts to rise again, at the moment it's plateaued and it's going sideways, pretty much like this stock. Um, once that starts to happen, there could be some good value and people will see value in it and this will start to push that price up. I'm going to go to the correlations now. So I put on two major gold companies and also gold. So first of all, we've got KGC in green. We've got gold as in Barrick Gold. 
and then GC is the gold futures and this is where um, and then we got INCAF in white at the bottom so 2020 remember we saw a big spike uh, in the gold price uh, driven um, you know mainly by COVID really if we if we think about it uh, a lot of that was driven by COVID it was seen as a, a safe haven but what we've got to consider is um, you know there's imminent stimulus and inflationary risks in 2021 um, as COVID continues you know we've had the pandemic pullback in stocks they're starting to, they, you know they're recovering pretty well uh, but there's still got to be a lot of stimulus because a lot of people have been out of work a lot of businesses have struggled or failed uh, and there's got to be some money printing and you know gold could really um, benefit from that so when the gold price goes up we can see from these correlations so do some of the major gold companies you know Kinross, Barrett Gold they all uh, they, they you know they move that correlation with gold is pretty um, you know pretty spectacular but we all can see as well uh, s smaller companies like this that are cheaper and good value move the same way so percentage wise uh, we can see that these are you know relatively similar we can see the peaks in 2020 we can see the pullback we've had now coming into the beginning of 2021 but we are facing up again on INCAF we're starting to level out on gold we can see um, Barrick gold kicking up again and we can see KGC kicking up again investors are starting to see value not only in these larger cap gold stocks but also in the smaller cap they're looking at this gold finding support and turning back up again so when we're looking at investing in these um, smaller uh, cap type stocks around the world I mean this uh, this gold company is in Peru as I said um, these correlations are really really important we n may not be able to afford to get in some of the large gold stocks but if the correlations are there excuse me I've got alerts going off if the correlations are there uh, between the gold and also the larger gold companies and the smaller gold companies this should give us some confidence um, of uh, looking at the value of this INCAF so I will also include a link uh, to a lot more information on the company which is a good resource really uh, and um, there's fundamental analysis in there a lot about gold and why uh, it you know it should move up uh, at, to test 2500 this year a little bit more technical analysis uh, you know the fundamentals there's, there's a lot of information on here but very very good if you're going to uh, look at this stock more closely this information is uh, you know a gold mine pardon the pun uh, and the technical analysis hopefully this has helped um, looks like a good value stock um, with those correlations working out with gold and those other larger gold companies uh, this is poised for a move up